what's going on everyone? It's me, Canadian Boy Rambler here, and today we're on Hearts of Iron 4. I'll be playing through a newish mod called The Legacy of 1790, which is an alternate history scenario where Napoleon never rose to power. And then we just see the aftermath of all of that. But first, a few words from today's sponsor. So many thanks to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Honey is a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically adds them while you're checking out. Check this guy out, he uses Honey. <laughs> So Honey is completely free and just takes a couple of clicks to install the browser extension. So let's say I wanted to get myself a nice new winter jacket for the Canadian winter, even though I'm in Vancouver, but as long as it's waterproof. Honey is going to automatically apply any coupons that it finds. Let's take a little look-see. So there we go. I've just saved 25 Canadian just for installing the browser extension. Noish! Uh, those of you who've already installed Honey using my link have found over $2,000 in savings. All you have to do to install Honey is go on joinhoney.com slash Alex the Rambler. So click on the link on the description. So that's honey.com slash Alex the Rambler so I know I sent you. So they know I sent you. No, I know I sent you, but now they know that I sent you. And thanks Honey for sponsoring today's video. So, Legacy of 1790, an alternate Europe stands on the brink of its first great kerfuffle since the French Revolution. Prussia, whilst unable to unify all of Germany, uh, has presided over 70 years of Pax Prussia on the continent. Uh, France, where the revolutionary wars lasted until 1853. Oh my god. So it's... <laughs> and England looks on uncertain of the role they must play. Alright then. So this is what it looks like. We've got Brittany, the Netherlands, you've got the old French collective over there. Austria look like, looks like a weird kind of blob. The Turkic Empire? Oh my, is Russia still... What the frick? The Russian Directory? Crumbs. But what if we decided to play as England? Following the French Revolutionary Wars, England receded almost entirely from continental affairs. Their endeavours led to great economic booms. Doubt. And an increasingly powerful empire, their severance from Europe has led to many changes occurring without their acceptance, such as the Wall Street Crash. Hmm... But this looks like it's going to be quite interesting. Like, the mod actually seems pretty uh, pr pretty fun. So yeah, I'm going to play as England. Why not? It's been a while since I've done an England playthrough. So if you do want to see more Hearts of Iron 4, 5,000 likes. Also, comment and subscribe. Maybe when I hit 400,000 subscribers, if I do, I'll do a foot reveal. Okay, let's see. Our custom focus tree, sort of. This is This is different, right? I think this is different. Establish the home guard. Is it different? I can't tell. You've got a Christmas chonker. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a Christmas chonker miracle. Look at this bad boy. Oh, blessed be to the cult of the chonk. Oh my god. This is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, all right. All right. Alright, so what's the state of England? Scotland is independent, and they're led by... Oh, William Buchanan! They have a basic focus tree, it's there. <laughs> Looks like the focus trees have been changed about a little bit, not a huge amount. Except for... yeah, that one's obviously different. Does Austria have their own tree yet? Hmm... Oh, you have the Germanic Pact. Uh, the Commonwealth. Ah, I'm in the Commonwealth with Brittany. There we are. Very nice. They're my puppet. Oh, a supervised state. So if you want more lore, um, click on the link to the mod in the description and that'll take you to it. But here we have, we could provide Egyptian autonomy. They've been lobbying consistently for greater autonomy. Do you know what? Sure. What is end the transition? Oh, he needs to be ready to step down. Oh, he's trying to complete his reforms? Hmm. Conclude the Breton experiment. Brittany becomes free. <gasps> no. Okay, what should I start constructing? Everything! So I don't know if there are any custom events in the mod, but honestly, anything that gives me an alternate history, and if this is the result of Napoleon not rising to power, I'm confused. Oh! <laughs> everyone's just got their independence, haven't they? Cool, everyone's having a jolly. Except the Welsh. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, George is dead. And we have a shaky empire. Oh dear. Professional army, though. 
Imperial, oh sorry, European indifference. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, don't say anything, Alex. Don't say anything. War preparations, eh? Attention in Europe. The is, is mounted. The tension, the tension is mounting. Oh gosh. Oh, Italy's led by the king. Oh my god, am I doing a non-monarchist playthrough? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Neville Chamberlain was selected as our Prime Minister after the previous one, Baldwin, stepped down. Alright, he's done the job, so now who am I led by? Alright, let's end the transition. So I c Ooh, and then we can either choose which way we go. I'm probably going to end the isolation. Have a little bit of a jolly in Europe, what do you say? Roosevelt died. That was a bit early, wasn't it? For Roosevelt, but I guess. He gone! And now the Japanese military coup has happened. And Sado Akra is in, uh, in power. Oh wow, there's actually a Mongol Empire. Okay, okay. What what's gone on in China? Napoleon not rising has led to a new Mongol Empire. Crumbs. India is communist. Oh my gosh. So far, the mod is working. So we either have Lord Halifax uh, to steer us towards peace, <laughs> or Winston Churchill. Fucking <laughs> get Churchilling! All right, let's end our isolation. Isolation? Isolation, and we become a British bulldog. Boom. Christmas chonk. Oh, blessed be El Chonkerson. El christmas -o. Praise be. All right, a second Russian revolution. <laughs> Got grey Russia and red Russia. Okay. Oh, and the red Caucasus led by Stalin. Oh, okay. End European disinterest. The foolish disinterest brought upon this nation by weak leaders must end now. Hee hee hee. Not that my army is in um, <laughs> a very good state to do anything. <laughs> MacArthur's been appointed. What is going on over here? Truman wins. Continue the New Deal. Hmm. Hmm. Middle Eastern tinderbox. Edward abdicates. Okay. Prime Minister Baldwin has made it quite clear. Who's Baldwin? We've got Churchill. Okay, so they haven't removed some events, but at least I get um, extra stability for <laughs> for the mod not remembering what timeline it's in. <laughs> Italy announces her empire, and I announce the end of English isolation. <laughs> Europe will soon be in our safe hands. We tried to unify with the Scots before and failed due to their empire in the Darien. However... They have since declined somewhat and be more inclined to incorporate themselves into a new British nation. I'm coming for you, Scotland. Yeah, they have no... Oh, they've got a little bit of... Ha! They've got the freaking Panama, almost. They have the Darien Canal. Okay, that's quite cool. Should probably send the army, just in case they get any ideas. Oh, Finns are alive. Prussia, not doing nothing. So far. Hey, and Scotland accepted. Boom! Welcome. Welcome, one and all. I'll befriend Ireland. Yes. Yes. Oh, so I can't quite declare European hegemony yet. Uh, but once we get to 100, the resurgent or dominant powers of Europe begin to assert themselves. Hey, I've got more power than Prussia. Giggity. Oh, oh I'm going to kickstart the war industry. Military factories? Here I come. Let's befriend Portugal, shall we? And then we'll increase our influence in Europe again. Lovely. Oh, looks like Belgium's broken free. I'm not really not really sure. Oh! Earl Browder has led the Northeastern Revolt in the US. Okay, well... <laughs> right. Oh, and in the South. And America's been taken over by Douglas MacArthur. And Montana has also revolted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? Hmm. A coup in France. What a mess. Oh, Maurice. All right, Maurice. Maybe I picked the wrong country to play as, because there's not really a whole lot you seem to be able to do as England or Great Britain. Surely, should I not be able to change to Great Britain yet? No, I guess I'm just England. <laughs> but there's a grey Russia now. A revolution within a revolution. Okay. Uh, 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 you've got brown Russia, grey Russia. Is that... Red Caucasus. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I'm going to conclude the Brit Breton experiment. I get extra stability if they become free, so... I'll take the stability over having Brittany, unfortunately. <laughs> well, there we go. You're free now. 
You're free. Oh, Japan's gone into China. It's a it's a whole hazabaloo. Has Everything seems to be going wrong in the world, except in England. Apparently, I can't really do anything. Um, I need I need the rest of Europe just to go absolutely kahoozy because I can't do these interventions. Like I can do Mediterranean bases and maybe Catalan intervention intervention. But should I do that? Yeah, why not do that? Oh, let, let's let's intervene. Let's intervene wherever I can. <laughs> Meddling, I'm meddling, I'm meddling in their affairs. Classic British attitude. Oh, the Turkic Empire is now going for Iraq, are they? Sure, everyone's expanding. I've just provided gas masks for everyone, and that increases my stability and war support. Good. Maybe an event will come to head in 1939 that can let me, like, go ham on Europe. Let me in. Let me in and destroy you. Just a little bit of destruction. Here we go. I've got a topple government war goal against the communion of the Catalan. Shall I plan some naval invasions? Sure. Um, France has remilitarized the Tierra del Est, their border with Austria and Italy. We will protest, or we will protest. <laughs> so then, if I wanted to go to war, I could. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh, I should probably call everyone. <laughs> everyone can join. Huzzah! I really wish I hadn't freed Brittany now. <laughs> like, this is annoying. Maybe I can try and naval invade Bordeaux? Oh, sure, I'll invite them all to my faction. And it looks like they've put so much pressure on my troops here that I'm going to lose multiple divisions. Oh dear. And they, France and Australia have signed a peace. No. What? No. Cheeky bastards trying to get out of this war. What the feck? Let's call them in again. <laughs> I will keep calling them in until they submit to me. Submit to me! My decision to go to war was, in hindsight, quite dumb when I have no real ability to frickin' do much. <laughs> Didn't even realise France had territory down here. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, off we go on a little jolly down to Bilbao. Can we take it? No, we can't. The, uh, their navy has taken a hammering, though. Unfortunately, I've just sent three British divisions to their death. I'm gonna side with the Turkic Empire. Boom. Help me. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, dear. Um, that's that. Um, well, I've made my bed. <laughs> it's kind of annoying that despite... I, I've, invi I've invited them to the faction, but then they just keep signing white pieces. It's just... it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. See? <laughs> oh my god. My trade convoys. Cancel everything. Oh, I'm about to run out of fuel. Fuel no! Uh... Clench your assholes, boys. We're going in without any fuel. Oh, boy. Have I taken an airfield yet? Oh, I've done another naval invasion, but I don't know if it's going to work. My God, I'm so... Oh, this is so hard. Oh. And and this hasn't helped. Not Like, my, my trade convoys were being raided, and I didn't realise. I lost all of my war support. And now I'm having to just deal with the aftermath of all of that shite. But my units, I think, are a bit better than the French's. And I've sent my whole army now. I've, I've, I've gone all in. I'm going full full thrust, full frontal. Let's see what we can do. So it looks like their tanks have melted. And then my divisions are better. I just need air. I basically just made a massive error uh, attacking uh, a nation too soon. And then uh, I wasn't expecting France to decide to have a jolly with me too. So I do declare I messed up. Airfield taken, frickin' gorgeous. War support is still atrocious. <laughs> I will overwhelm the French. Fear me! <laughs> okay, my troops are winning. We are beating the French. Good. Are they out of manpower? They are out of manpower. Okay, so every time we attack, whether successfully or not, they can't replace them. That's good for me. <laughs> Just need to knock the French out and then I think they all capitulate. Yes, that's true. 
to Pali. This is such a pain, I can't tell you. My editor will hear me complaining a lot, but luckily you won't get to hear me be like, oh, it's such a bullshit. We've taken Paris. Got a nice encirclement in the north, and we are just crushing the French. Good. It all works out in the end. <laughs> oh, good. I'm a bit confused by what's happened now. Uh, I'm now at war with Hungary. What? No. Uh, honestly, um, I think the mod has promise. Unfortunately, there's like not a whole lot has happened. Maybe because I didn't have historical AI on. That's made the AI a lot more passive than what they would have been. Like, Prussia could have had some big old decisions to do. Uh, but nothing's really happened. Uh, Brown Russia is kind of in charge, though. They're also at war with Hungary. I'm not really sure why. The United States is, once again, uh, under control of Truman. Uh, Japan, oh, has done their thing in China. Yeah, the mod has promise, that's for sure. But I think that's why I'm going to end the scenario. Um, I was getting a bit frustrated, so rather than getting super, super salty and not being able to do any of these actual in fun focuses, uh, I'm going to call it a day there. So I'll leave a link to the mod in the description, and thank you to Honey again for sponsoring this video. But it's goodbye from me and Christmas Chonk for now. So comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Chonkadoo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Stoevic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Brandon Preston, Tad House, Vash, Warren P. George, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Jack Troshu, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!